me, allow me to blow your mind. Okay, listen, this video is called the 4400 Prophecy. Let me try to calm down because I'm excited to make this video for you. The 4400 Prophecy. What you need to know about the 4400 is this. The 4400 is a television show, was a television show, on the USA Network back in 2004. In 2004, the show ran for four seasons before it was canceled and taken down from the air. Now, the reason why it's taken me so long to put this information together and present it to you and put you on this is because I don't watch the news, but over the weekend, I saw the news and what I saw shocked me. It really brought memory of the 4400 back to me, okay? And let me tell you why, okay? When you watch the news, you see what's going on in Seattle and everything, this whole situation and with the coronavirus and with vaccines. The 4400, the television show that aired in 2004, ends with exactly what they're showing you on the news right now, huh? The 4400 prophecy. So listen, there are going to be some spoilers in this video, but I'm hoping to inspire you to go watch this yourself. Okay. And then I have some surprise info for you at the end of the video. So please stick around. Okay. So the 4400, let me tell you why you would want to watch this. All right. So the 4400 takes place in present day, basically what you could say present time. And from some time period beginning in the 1800s to present time, there have been people that have mysteriously vanished. Thousands of people that have under very mysterious circumstances seem to vanish into thin air. And there is a certain branch of the government that is extremely interested in these more abnormal or paranormal cases, right? And they're seeking to monitor everyone that was involved in these cases very closely in order to gain information on the source of these disappearances, all right? Now, one night over a lake in Washington State, a ball of light comes from the sky over the lake and opens up and out of the ball of light, 4,400 people that have disappeared within the time frame from somewhere in the late 1800s to present day come back, having little to no memory of the time that they were gone, okay? Some people have come back from like the 1800s and still think that it's the 1800s and are shocked to see a new world that they're returning to. Other people have disappeared as shortly as two weeks ago. So they come back to find family members that are mourning their possible death and searching for them as a missing person, right? Um, now, like I said, most people have little to no memory, but some people remember a little bit more than others. And there is one individual that remembers what he says is the entire thing. And he claims that they were in the future. So this man has seen the future and knows what is to come. And he is sort of looked at as the hero, the savior of this group of 4,400 who begin to be discriminated against by the outside world for various reasons, all right? But as time goes on, the 4,400 realize that they all share a common characteristic. Upon their return, they discover that their genetics have been altered. They're like an evolved type of human being, some of them possessing great gifts, what we would call superpowers or abilities, right? And they can't really be hidden from the public, so the government finds out about these people and wants to study them at first, and then once they study them, wants to suppress them because they realize that this genetic mutation, if it is allowed to, it will spread throughout the entire world and either a lot of people will die or a lot of people will develop superpowers. And if a lot of people develop these gifts, these abilities, which I don't want to spoil for you, in order for them to make sense, you're going to have to watch the show, all right? So I can't spoil what sort of powers um, people have, right? But um, because of this, the establishment would lose all power that it has. 
if this was caused to spread. And when it spreads, it's like flu-like symptoms and everything. I'm telling you, it's just like what's going on today. You'll have to watch this show with your one eye open, you know, to really see what's going on. Um, now, this person, his name is Jordan Collier, the one who has seen the entire future, who is like the savior of the 4400. He has like sort of a retreat in Seattle, Washington, that um, acts as like a safe place. It's almost like a religious retreat um, for people that are um, with the movement of the 4400 because gradually the 4400 are defined as like a subhuman species, dangerous, you know, contagious, um, and the virus that they have is deadly and so on and so forth, right? Um, so they're discriminated against, so there's this safe place. Now, the government tries to develop a certain vaccine. There's even a Bill Gates figure, all right, who has a certain mark behind his ear that lets you know that he's under direct control of the enemy, of the opposition. He's working for the enemy. And there is a certain vaccine that is created that is made to suppress the abilities of the 4400 and reverse the effects of another vaccine called promycin that I'll talk to you about in a minute, but so there is a vaccine, right? Um, and they're trying, and there's a census in the show and everything. Um, and they're trying to get people vaccinated and to vote, vote, vote. This is a huge thing in the show, right? From 2004. Now, Jordan Collier, the man who's seen the future, he develops a different vaccine. And this vaccine, he hands out freely to all people. He gives to his disciples, his followers, and tells them to pass it out. It's called promycin. And promycin you have to be made aware of because when you take it, there's a 50% chance you will die, right? But the other, the flip side of the coin, the other 50%, you will develop some sort of gift, some sort of supernatural ability. By taking this vaccine. You see? And the choice is yours. It's free for everyone. At least that's the belief of Jordan Collier. But the belief of the government is that that shouldn't be a choice. That shouldn't be left up to everyone. You see, Now you'll have to watch the show for yourself. To really get the perspective for yourself. And see what's going on. Interpret it. Use your own discernment for yourself. But here's the surprise info I have for you. Because the show ends present day because in the show certain followers of Jordan Collier have taken a part of Seattle Washington as their own have barricaded it in a certain way and no government authority no police officers no military personnel no ambulances no nothing is allowed within the territory that they have taken in Seattle so the show actually ends present day if that's not mind-blowing to you, a show that's in 2004 ends with our current situation in 2020, I don't know what is. But here is another mind-blowing thing. There is two books that follow up the last season of the show, The 4400. And I can't tell you anything about those books because I haven't even read them myself, but I'm about to read them. So give me an hour and I'll have... Links for those in the description, either PDF files or a place where you can buy those books. Okay, so uh, until next time, I hope you continue to free your mind. Listen, this is extreme. It's, it's, it's crazy. I want to share this video with as many people as I possibly can put you on this. Now, if you've seen the 4400, please let me know what you think in the comments. This show also answers questions about things like deja vu and the Mandela effect, all sorts of things that you maybe have been questioning. You never know. You might be a part of the 4400 and already be gifted and just don't know it. And this will put you on. This might wake you up. Anyway, until next time, I hope you continue to free your mind.